preached to you on the joy of a happy ending. And this word just came to me as I was eating breakfast. And yes, I still drink my morning god food, cocoa powder. And yes, other natural health foods of the earth. But a happy ending is such a gorgeous, mathematically God-pleasing set of letters, it'll make you cry. Because we all love a happy ending. That's why we, lo that's why we watch, if we do, some of the best, uh, choicest films that exist. They have to have a happy ending. So let's squeeze this out. This is a word from the Lord. We all have a happy ending in Christ. We're going to heaven, the happiest ending there is. But I believe there's many happy endings coming for your life in Jesus' name. So let's get these letters on the table. This will blow your mind. At the dead center of a happy ending is Y and E, which are the only letters that divide by five individually in the entire string. To the left of that, you have five letters. To the right of that, you have five letters. Okay? Now, this gets even better. So, at the center of a happy ending, you have the Y, E. Y is five times five. E is five. Awesome. You have the, you have the final five in the English alphabet first, and then you have the first five right next to it. I love God. He's always declaring the end from the beginning, the beginning from the end. He always loves to reverse things, crisscross, so that he's like, I got this whole thing wrapped up from the end to the beginning, from the beginning to the end. So, Y first, E second. 25, 5. Highest 5, lowest 5. At the center of a happy ending. Now, push out. Graciously push out, okay? The next two letters pushing out are P, N. Knit together to make 30, a multiple of 5. Beautiful. Now you've got 30, 30 at the dead center of this whole thing. Push out one more time, okay? By the way, 30 equals peace. Peace is a tremendous joy, and it's a tremendous ingredient for joy, okay? I mean, when people are on a honeymoon, they lavish themselves in peace, and the joy is there at the same time. So push out now. P, D. Now you've got 20. Knit together to make 20, another 20 points, okay? And now <clears throat> you've captured the six central letters, and then now um, you can push out again and capture the AI, which adds another 10 points. And then, um, yeah, and then the AH at the front knits together with the NG at the back to complete a final 30. And even that, you can put the A and the N together to make 15, and the H and the G to make another 15. Like, are you following this? Did you get all that? We literally squeezed every single five out of the letters a happy ending from the middle to the extremities and it did not disappoint one bit so i'm here to tell you that god willing there is a massive happy ending coming your way for all of the things in your heart that you are dreaming to see happen that you are dreaming to experience in your lifetime god willing he's going to do better than what you've been thinking. Okay? That is always the way of God. The way of God is always to surprise us. The way of God is always to surpass our expectations. Okay? Because he's God. He's infinitely higher than your brain and he's infinitely higher than mine. So we think we have a dream. We think we have a fantasy. We think we have an idea. Oh man, if all of this could just happen, this would be the very best thing in my life ever. And God's like, guess what? I got a plan that's infinitely higher than that. And he shows us up for his joy and our joy. And he loves to do that, okay? So a happy ending, the joy of a happy ending. Now that you know, um, you know, where the fives exist in that structure, you feel them on your lips, like the E, E, a happy ending. You can even feel your voice go up and down. The truth is, um, God obviously designed words and sentences and phrases, uh, and the very design of speech is that we start with a, you know, a low volume, peak, and drop down. Like just about every waveform in the history of sound is shaped like a mountain. Like, eh, 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 eh. Okay, and um, that's just the way God designed it. And so when you go to the center, you always go to the center of strings that God gives to you. And there you find the joy declaration mathematically. So, a happy ending. You can really feel that E 
on your lips at the dead center, you can really feel it. A happy ending. And you're just like, ah, let that sink in. These are sacred letters. These are sacred words. Remember, every word from God is divine. So say it and let it sink in. A happy ending. A happy ending. A happy ending. Notice that the Y is the peak of the mountain. A happy ending. A happy ending. A happy ending. So where does the whole thing come to? Um, 67 plus 23, 90. Oh yeah, 120, which equals the truth. Okay, uh, which equals the Abraham Macaco. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, a happy ending. Everyone wants a happy ending. Well, ask God for it right now. Okay. Ask God for a happy ending for everything in your life. Okay. For everyone in your life. For the whole world. And yet, He already has the plan that's infinitely better than yours. So why don't you just rejoice and thank Him and love Him and trust Him that it is going to be a happy ending. And your job is to love Him. Your job is to love Him and trust Him in the moment, every single moment, as you exist. That's it. Your job is actually to love God and thank God, appreciate God every single moment, and trust that His infinite brain is infinitely superior to yours, and His infinite power and love are infinitely superior to yours, and therefore He's going to surpass all your wild, wildest dreams and give you a happy ending like you could never imagine. And He'll do that for everyone, as much as He wills. Okay, by his power. There you go. Joy of a happy ending. We squeezed all the fives out of that. That word came to me this morning. Awesome. And everyone loves a happy ending. Joy is at the center of story. The O, story. It's also at the end. And then when you say the story, we talked about this before. The story parallels the legend. They all divide by five. Legendary equals the father. Um... Uh, but the entire story is all about God's joy. Do the math on the story, squeeze the fives out of it, just like the legend. It's pure fives, they both divide by five. Okay. And uh, legendary equals the Father. He is the most legendary person in the universe by a factor of.